What a game. Terrence Steele failed us big time today. He got his ass whooped today. Dak Prescott had a good game. Um, defense, for the most part, they held up their end of the bargain. Um, we'll get them next time in Dallas in December. We'll get them. Uh, it was a very, very close game. Uh, just a few. I would say this clock management really killed us. We had a chance at the end. Just Terrence Steele just kept getting beat. You know, I'm not a big believer in uh, moral victories, but I like, for the most part, I like how we went into Philadelphia and we battled today. I like how we, we should have won, should have won that game. Game was winnable. The pass rush for the Philadelphia Eagles made more plays. Did Dak hold on to the ball on a couple of those sacks a little too long? Maybe. But at the same time, Philadelphia was playing very, very conservative on defense. So they were uh, some of the coverages out there, they were just trying not to get beat. If Terrence Steele holds up his end of the bargain, we win this game. We win this game. You can't let Brandon Graham get home. You can't let Hassan Reddick get home or Josh Sweat get home. You can't allow that to happen. You can't allow it to happen. We got an easy schedule coming up. We got the Giants next week. We have Carolina after that. And then after that, we have the Redskins at home. And then we play the Seattle Seahawks at home again on November 30th. We should have won this game. We should have won. And towards the end, Philadelphia was, they were self-destructing. It was a meltdown over there. And we had a shot. Terrence Steele just can't hold up his end of the bargain, gets beat by Josh Sweat for the sack. We had this man, and, and on the two-point conversion, Dak, you got to have more aware awareness, man. You got to have more awareness. When you stepped out of bounds, all you needed was a little inch. This game came down to, uh, it, it came down to inches. Schoenmaker got stopped at the inch yard line. They ruled it a touchdown initially, but he was down. He, his knee touched down. This game came, it was by inches, just a few inches. Like, holy shit. But like I said, I like the defense did okay. You know, there were a couple, there were uh, two drives that were really like backbreaking. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles, their, their first drive, their opening drive, that was, uh, and then the opening drive after halftime. Those two drives were backbreaking, and the defense could have done a lot better on that. But for the most part, other than those two drives, the defense did okay. Defense did okay. Marquise Bell is, I'm not going to, I will say this. He's a lot more athletic than LVE at this point in his career. And we have to keep running with Marquise Bell. LVE is the more seasoned, more um, football IQ smart player. But Marquise Bell is more athletic. He's faster. And he can plug up those holes much faster. LVE knows where to go. He just doesn't have the speed or athleticism to get there. Marquise Bell is inexperienced. The more he plays, the better he gets. But he has the speed and athleticism to make up for mistakes. 
LVE can't make mistakes. Even if LVE plays things perfectly, he could still get beat. So I'm loving what Marquise Bell is doing out there. Terrence Steele was getting his ass whooped all game long. And the run game, the run game, uh, even though Dak was cooking for most of this game, and from this point on out, we may have to just rely on Dak, which isn't a great thing. It's not a good thing to rely on your quarterback in November or December. you got to have the run game to lean on. But for the next few weeks, we have until we can figure out another scheme for this run game or to figure some things out, we're going to have to rely on Dak. We have to. But Dak Prescott, he cooked. He was okay for the most part. I give him that. Can't really come down too hard on him. There were just a couple of sacks where I felt like he could have thrown the ball away or he didn't have to take a sack. Um, but if you look at film, you know, that the, the film tells all. If you look at film, he probably had nowhere to go with the ball. And instead of forcing it down the field, the best decision was probably to take the sack. So I can't really be too hard on him. I can't. <clears throat> but Dak Prescott, he did okay. But the run game, we have to get better at the run game. We have to figure out something, okay? Tony Pollard is not going to get any bigger. He's not. The red zone, red zone was iffy today. I mean, it wasn't as bad as uh, previous games, but it was okay. Could have done much better in that aspect. All I'm going to say is this. The game was close. It was a good game. We were never out of it. We could have won the game. We should have won the game. You can look at a couple of glaring issues, uh, Terrence Steele. You can look at some of the inches, like Dak Prescott not being able to convert on that uh, two-point conversion or Shoemaker not getting to the end zone. There were a lot of bogus penalties. But the reason why I can't get upset about the penalties is because we got a lot of penalties on that last drive. We had a chance. We got a lot of defensive. Philadelphia had a lot of defensive penalties on that last try. So you can't get upset about the flags. They, The refs gave us a chance towards the end. We just couldn't get it. So you can't really complain about the flags. You can't. This was a good game. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Philadelphia. Should have won the game in Philly. When we meet back, when we meet back up in Arlington, we're going to get those motherfuckers. But these next few games, the next four games, three out of four will be at home. The Giants will be at home. The Panthers will be in Carolina. But that should be close to a home game. We got a lot of fans out there in Carolina. And plus, it's the Panthers. We shouldn't lose to them, but we lost to Arizona earlier this year. So no game. We can't take no game for granted. We need to go out there and handle our business. Then we have the Redskins here at home, and we have Seattle, who just got dog walked by the Baltimore Ravens today. We got them at home. We can go on a run, and then we can go right on a run, and then right before then we'll get the Eagles again in Arlington, no time to panic. Brothers, if we got blown off the field and got made a mockery of in Philadelphia like we did in San Fran, I would have been much worried. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best team in the NFL. We had a chance to win. We just didn't execute. There are a couple of things. If we can shore these things up, by the time we face them again, we can get them. And we will get them. Brothers, we're 5-3. We got a pretty good outlook for the next four games. All of those games we should be favored in. All of those games we should win. We should be 9-3 and three going against Philadelphia again. 9-3. and three. You know... I just, I wish we could have eked this one out. I, I just wish we could have gotten this game. 
it was right there for the taking. I'm upset, but I'm not too upset because I like I like most of the things I saw out there. And I know we can improve upon that on the next matchup. And plus, it also helps that the Texas Rangers win the World Series. So I'm still happy about that. <laughs> I'm still happy about that. But the most glaring issue for me today was Terrence Steele. We paid him all this money and he got his ass whooped today. He got his ass lit up. And to be quite honest, I think the offensive line, you know, in years recent pa in, in, in the recent past, our offensive line was our that was our, our strength. That was our superpower, our offensive line. No one could compete with our offensive line. This year, and even parts of last year, this offensive line has looked mid at best. At best, mid. That is, in my honest opinion, I feel like that is the glaring weakness of this team. The offensive line and the run game. You know, it would have been nice if we could we could have made a big uh big splash at the trade deadline, you know, get a get a uh a Derrick Henry, even a Dalvin Cook. I still think Dalvin Cook, I still I still think he has juice left in the tank. I still think he has juice. We could have even tried to get Ezekiel Elliott back. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we we got we got to have some beef up in the backfield. We do. We have to have some beef. And Hunter Lemke could be that beef, but I don't think he's fast enough. I don't think he has the the speed and athleticism to be a consistent threat from the backfield. I don't think he has that. I don't. I think in this game, Ezekiel Elliott would have served us well in this game. I honestly think he would have. But the offensive line and the run game are the biggest weaknesses. C.D. Lamb, I don't know why I went this entire length of the video without mentioning C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb cooked today. This defense held A.J. Brown to under 100 yards, I believe. There are some good things to take away from this game. You didn't let A.J. Brown beat you. C.D. Lamb had a great game. Jake Ferguson, the tight end, he's emerging as a big play threat. He had a good game today. He had, what, 80-some yards? Michael Parsons, I believe, had two sacks today. There are good things to take away from this game. And brothers, the reason why you can't be too upset, of course we dropped one to those fucking cheesesteak-eating bastards. But we were in the game. We had a chance to win the game. It just came at a game. It was a game of inches. Just a couple of plays that, just a couple of times it didn't go our way. Even towards the end, there was a malfunction, a handoff malfunction between a, a, a Swift and... And uh, Jalen Hurts, I don't know what happened on that. The ball just bounced the Eagles' way, and they punted it away. It was on third down. If that ball, just imagine if Michael Parsons were to, were to recover that. We would have had a short field, way more time. Probably could have done something right there. It was a game of interest today, good game. Just didn't go away. The next four games are extremely, extremely manageable. We should win four straight. We are terrific at home. We're on an 11-game win streak at home. We need to win these next four games before we face those fucking Eagles again. One thing I love about this rivalry is you get to play those motherfuckers twice. They don't get to win one and then you don't see them again. Like the Niners. We may not ever see the Niners again this season. <clears throat> but with those fucking Eagles, at least we get another shot at redemption. If this was in Arlington, we would have gotten them motherfuckers. Thank goodness the next one is. Um, brothers, can't really say much else after this. Those are my thoughts.
Tell me what you think in the comment section. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.